Sometimes things just don't make sense. For the past 10 years, a mystery has been ongoing that's lately been baffling myself and quite a few others in the online horror community. The mystery that I'm referring to is one that surrounds strange and cryptic reviews and conversations between multiple people about a certain key lime pie that does not exist. I was recently introduced to this oddity by my friend Elder's Vault, and like before, I'll let him jump on here and catch you guys up to speed. Hey, what's going on you crazy kitty cats? It's Elder here. Big thanks to Nightmare Expo and his fans for letting me come back on to talk about yet another crazy internet phenomenon. This all started when a Reddit user brought to my attention an interesting occurrence happening in various forum sites around the internet. We began looking into it more in depth and found an entity with far-reaching capabilities. Tens of thousands of posts, or more to be precise, located in the comments of articles and forums. Not only that, this entity has thousands of accounts throughout these websites, which generally require verified emails and capture processes to create, a daunting task to say the least. Furthermore, it's been known to clone other users' accounts it comes into contact with and even attempt to mimic their speech patterns. Some of my own friends have had direct contact with this entity, whereas in forums it seems to be mostly just generally lighthearted discourse, in personal messages things can get a bit darker. For example, my Swedish friend messaged a Facebook account of this entity, and while nothing on his page would have indicated that he was from Sweden, he received a cryptic message about death in Swedish. Does this mean that this entity is obtaining the IP addresses of those it interacts with? And if so, why? What could it be using this information for? And just what kind of entity has the capability of making so many verified accounts, posting thousands of times, but still be able to interact one-on-one -on -one when approached? Is this just a light-hearted, albeit extremely intelligent bot? Or is something more sinister going on than what would appear at first glance? A user named KeyLimeWTF, presumably, was the first one to become weirded out by this whole mystery. In a Reddit post to Unresolved Mysteries, KeyLimeWTF claimed that they needed help because they just couldn't wrap their head around what the hell was happening. They claimed that they were reading a story online from their local college, and while the article is nothing out of the ordinary, they spotted something a little strange in the comment section. A comment by the user named Robert Ramjet discussed presumable nonsense surrounding key lime pies and made some strange references to the military. Strange, right? Well, key lime WTF claimed that they had done some digging and found numerous references about this key lime pie coming from prominent pop culture names and that the central subject of every comment relates to a Mrs. Anita Palayas, a Mr. Captain Kuchi Palayas, key lime pie, a restaurant by the name of Coochie's, the state of California, and Key West, Florida. They then went forth to explain that the first comment made about this dates all the way back to 2009 on a TMZ article, and that each comment seems to be on articles that are sexual in nature. So who the hell are Captain Coochie and Miss Palayas, and why are they significant? Furthermore, why is the restaurant Coochie's, the state of North Carolina, and Key West, Florida important here? Well, we need to look into the name Captain Kuchi and the surname Palayas as a whole. Keylime WTF did some digging and found that a book on Google named Naval Innovation for the 21st Century makes numerous references to a Captain Palayas. Even stranger, one of the reviews on the book seems to be by the mysterious pie fanatic referencing a place called Cucharitaville and references the quote, famous Kuchi's Key West and the world of Keylime Pies. It doesn't even stop there though. Some of these strange posts are hidden in social media, cooking show sites, general food sites, tabloid articles, and even news articles. It truly doesn't make any sense. Anyway, back to the Captain Coochie name. Users have found that the name ties to an old restaurant called Coochie's Key West Bar and Grill that previously existed in Florida, although they have absolutely no idea what kind of restaurant it was.
It's been found that the original owners of this restaurant were in Oswald and Anita Palaez back in 1989. So, that explains the names and references to Florida. But what's the significance, and how does this tie to the numerous references of Pi, Cucharitaville, and the decade-long campaign of nonsensical posts? Well, before we do this, we need to look into who these strange users are. Remember Robert Ramjet from earlier? Yeah. He's likely fake and is just one of hundreds of accounts made discussing this phenomenon. Doing any searches over any of these related topics will take you to these set accounts, including a newer one by a so-called Captain Kuchi on DeviantArt who writes stories that are... odd. Anyway, hundreds of Reddit users flock to the case on the subreddit, throwing their two cents in on their findings, and I'll have a link to that in the description. However, I'd like to go forth and present some theories on what this could be. The first theory in mind is that this is a single poster, going all across the internet and posting these strange and cryptic reviews about this supposed key lime pie. This very well could be someone who exhibits restricted interests and delves into repetitive behaviors. Now. I'm in absolutely no way insinuating that this person has any sort of foul intentions here. They could just have an obsession with the key lime pie that they could have tried way back in the 80s when the supposed restaurant did exist, and nothing more than that. We could, although very loosely, be looking too far into this as it's just one person posting about this around the internet since 2009. One major reason I'd like to discount this theory with, however, is the fact that it's far far too widespread to easily consider this as done by one single person. The various names, references, conversation style, and semantics are just too strange for it to seem like a single choreographed effort by someone. With this in mind, I'm going to have to throw this theory out. Now this one is interesting. Looking into these comments myself, I noticed a certain style, if you will, on how these reviews and comments are made. They all seem to jump back and forth with their thoughts and appear to capitalize unnecessary words. Also, Elder pointed out that they seem to have a sort of sign-off after every comment and it usually involves a string of periods, followed by the name of the supposed commenter. This majorly supports this theory, as a bot would definitely have the ability to post unrestricted comments about this across the internet while holding a strikingly similar style every single time. What starts to knock this theory though, are modern efforts by large sites like Google to prevent this type of behavior on their platform. CAPTCHA is becoming harder and harder to bypass, and more recent findings of these strange posts are still being found by the day, even still. This would have to be a pretty advanced bot to be able to bypass these measures, especially if it was created all the way back in 2009. Now, this doesn't consider the possibility of this potential bot being updated over time, which definitely could be a possibility. However, there's one thing that we're severely lacking here. A motive. We could consider the idea that this could be a test bot for comment services, but there are some privately owned websites without these restrictions that show this kind of behavior in their comment section, much like Keylime WTF's online school paper. While this doesn't entirely discredit this theory, it definitely leaves it up in the air for interpretation. A third theory that I'd like to throw at you is the possibility of this being done by a cult or a large group of people. This could support the evidence given, since these posts are so widespread over such a large period of time. Like we said, these comments started back in 2009 and are still going on today all over the net. The reason I'm saying cult though is the possibility that these potential people could be hiding codes in these messages. We as normal internet prowlers, have no idea what Kucharitaville or anything else that these people say really means, and honestly, if we're casually browsing, chances are we probably don't care. They likely want this. 
what if these strange terms and sentences actually mean something under the surface and we haven't quite cracked it yet? Elder also pointed out that these people find out information about you even if you don't make it public. Why would they do this and what further purpose would they have with your possible IP address? While this theory almost seems like it dips into the tinfoil hat area, it very well could be possible that these supposed people have something to hide and don't want to risk direct contact with each other in a messaging application. This inevitably begs the question once again for a motive. Why would they do this in plain sight? The fourth theory is one that I've seen circulating around Reddit, and honestly, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's on the basis that the key lime pie reference is a big inside joke, and that these people are trolling us with this as we look too far into it. The reason I throw this out is because it's been going on since 2009. It's now 2018 and we're barely finding this. It just doesn't make sense and with this, I'll personally throw this theory out. There's also simply no motive for something like this. The mystery surrounding these key lime pies is truly an interesting one. It almost reminds me of the old Ubisoft Ghost Steamworks Bye Bye always on DRM phenomenon that I covered back in July of last year, in the sense that the semantics are just strange enough to leave us curious as to what the hell is happening in the most unnerving sense possible. So, what do you think? Is this some sort of sophisticated bot that's running around the internet making strange posts about key lime pies? Could it be a cult that's communicating some secret messages in plain sight? Is it some sort of widespread joke? Or is it something that we haven't figured out yet? I'd love to hear your input so we can get to the bottom of this. Anyway, I'd like to thank KeyLimeWTF on Reddit for their findings with this mystery, and my friend Elders Vault for introducing me to this and joining me in this video. I've linked their profiles down below. Lastly, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, and good night.